Dozens of scientists, foresters, surveyors, researchers, and educators are actively involved in the fight to try and stop the spread of rapid ohia death. The fungal disease has decimated tens of thousands of acres of native ohia on the Big Island. A virtual army of specialists from a wide array of federal, state, county, and nonprofit organizations are engaged in the fight to find a treatment and simultaneously to stop it in its tracks. That's where education and outreach comes in. Anya Tagawa and Jeff Bagshaw of the DLNR Division of Forestry and Wildlife's Natural Area Reserve Program are two of the soldiers on the front line of spreading awareness about rapid ohia death. They've each created signs that hunters, hikers, mountain bikers, and other people recreating on state public lands will soon see. DLNR Chair Suzanne Case says it is critical that every person who goes into the woods or forest anywhere in Hawaii take steps to prevent this disease from spreading. Anya and Jeff's work, along with a team of other outreach experts, is vitally important in getting Kama'aina and visitors alike to be certain they don't inadvertently track the fungus from place to place. So it's important that they are conscious, even of weed seeds, but most importantly right now, that fungus, we're still learning about it. It could be spread by hiker's shoes. And so that's why we put boot prints, because that's where you can harbor it. I have big feet and they can hold a lot of material. And I have pretty worn out boots, but if I'm going inner island now, I'm gonna use a different pair of boots and put them in a bag and clean them before and after I go. Their individual signs are different in appearance but contain the same basic message. Rapid ohia death kills one of the most important native trees quickly and in wide swaths. Failing to follow the simple recommendations outlined on both sides could make you responsible for spreading this disease inter-island and intra-island. Tagawa's passion is born of a life spent in the forest. She comments, My life has always been intertwined with ohia, with our native forest. I grew up hiking, exploring, and being captivated by our forest, I continue to learn about their unparalleled uniqueness and feel an intimate connection with these special places. Rapid Ohia death threatens this way of life. It is imperative that we all do what we can to ensure Ohia is present for our future generations to experience, engage, and form a relationship with. It is critical for the continued persistence of the countless unique plants and animals that rely on Ohia. Bagshaw is the outreach coordinator at the Ahihi Kinau Natural Area Reserve on Maui's South Shore. The nearest wild ohia is dozens of miles away, yet he designed his sign for the Na'ala Heli Trails Access System because he, like his colleagues, is deeply concerned about the fate of Hawaii's ohia forests. Well, what we're hoping is that hikers will start to be conscious wherever they go, even with if there's ohia there or not, that they could be taking something in that affects our native ecosystems. Ohia are really the backbone of our na native rainforest. They feed the honey creepers, they protect the watershed. I mean, you can't imagine a Hawaiian rainforest without ohia. Um, just, they're a, a tree dear to my heart and it saddens me to see what's happening on the Big Island. So we're hoping to buy some time and prevent the spread. Recently, Bagshaw, his staff, and volunteers conducted awareness surveys with visitors to the Ahihi Kinau Natural Area Reserve. They found very few people had any knowledge about ohia or rapid ohia death. They're heartened, though, by people's willingness to adopt the preventative measures outlined on each of the trail signs. Tagawa signs will eventually be at every Dofa trailhead on the Big Island, more than 50 in all. On Maui, Bagshaw signs are being placed at all Na'alaheli trailheads. Well, what we're hoping is that hikers will start to be conscious wherever they go, even with, 
if there's ohia there or not, that they could be taking something in that affects our native ecosystems. Ohia are really the backbone of our na native rainforest. They feed the honey creepers, they protect the watershed. I mean, you can't imagine a Hawaiian rainforest without ohia. Um, just, they're a, a tree dear to my heart and it saddens me to see what's happening on the Big Island. So we're hoping to buy some time and prevent the spread. Anya and Jeff's work, along with a team of other outreach experts, 